that hurting a lot? No. No. All right. So she says it doesn't hurt at all. Remember, this is type six uh, yeah, African type American six skin. skin. This is not something that's easy to treat, no matter what. So it's great to have a device that can that can treat acne in this. And skin so, as type. I said, this is going to impact on. You know, she's got a lot of inflammatory pustules that's going to impact on the inflammation, the vessels. Uh, it'll have a phototoxic, phototherm,al effect uh, on P acne, uh, and just improve her overall skin. And I treat not just the area where there are lesions, but the whole face, because I'm trying to improve what she has, but I'm also trying to lessen uh, the onset of other lesions. So the, what's great about this laser is most YAG lasers, which are 1064 nanometers, go very deep into the skin and have some downtime and pain. But because this is microsecond, meaning that the energy is so quickly pulsing, it bypasses the upper surface of the skin and all we see is deep dermal heating, so you don't get any burns. The other thing that's positive about it that's amazing is that it can be used in any skin type. So if you're African American, you're Latin, you're, you're mixed ethnicity, you have a sensitive skin like rosacea or irritated skin like eczema, you can use this laser on it to basically calm everything down because this laser energy is attracted to many different things. Hemoglobin, which is redness in the skin, melanin, which is brown in the skin, and also water. The heat stimulates water in your collagen that allows the skin to tighten. Laser hair removal is an area of primary expertise and research emphasis for me, so I agreed to assess this laser by determining whether it could generate efficacy and long-term results in laser hair removal. The laser proved to be more than sufficiently powerful, reaching the desired endpoints of charred hairs and perifollicular edema. In fact, we only need to use about 15% of the peak fluence of the laser for hair removal, as the neo can also be used to remove leg telangiectasias with fluences of over 300 joules per centimeter squared. The neo generated hair clearance similar to other YAG lasers with no complications, even on skin type 6. Also, the results were long-term, meaning that clearance persisted for at least 3 to 6 months after the last treatment session. I think the Lipod Neo has a unique place in the field of aesthetic lasers. Now you have a YAG laser with the power and versatility that you need without the treatment pain and potential complications of some other devices, all in a laser that is exceptionally affordable. Now what I'm really excited about is the fact that you have a device now that really effectively treats acne. How many technologies have we had like that? But isolase is, is more comedonal. This is, seems more inflammatory, mm -hmm. right? This is inflammatory. Yeah, so I think that's a nice, nice advantage there. Any pain or discomfort back there when you're, she's being treated? No. It doesn't hurt. And again, it's mind-boggling. And, and, and I think one of the things that we are, the three of us especially, who have been around lasers for so many years, we used to hurt everybody. <laughs> if we didn't hurt them, they didn't get better. You know, the no pain, no, no pain, gain no pain. concept. We don't need that now. I mean, we don't need to hurt people. Well, think about what causes pain, right? The pain is induced by the heat of the laser, and this is a shorter pulse system, so it's so, going to be less painful. And the pain is also induced by some of the cooling devices we use, and, and there's no cooling device here. Right. And also the advantage for treating all skin types. I mean, right. That's a big plus, too, with the microsecond technology. I call this my workhorse. When we're choosing a laser for practices, we want to find something that can do as much work for us as possible. Um, we're going to focus on hair removal, but this laser technology can also treat inflammatory lesions, lesions such as acne, pseudofolliculitis barbae. It's also being developed modalities to treat onychomycosis, and there um, are published studies on that. And it also does non-ablative laser resurfacing very safely on all skin types, including very dark skin types. So we'll start with her chin. And you see it moves very fast on the area. There is no need to overlap pulses. And remember, because there's no thermal stress on the nerve endings, there is no pain that she's feeling. The air laser is a 1064, 650 microsecond laser, which is ideal to treat acne. It's relatively painless, 
and it treats acne in around two to three treatments, and there's zero downtime associated with this procedure. We typically will do it on the face, but we can treat any parts of the body for acne. So this is a device I turn on at eight o'clock in the morning when I start seeing clinic patients. I don't do the treatments, my staff does it, and we shut it off about five o'clock in the afternoon. We do on average eight to 10 treatments a day. Um, when we did the numbers, it's actually my most profitable device. And I charge between, and again, this is what, one of the things I want Bruce to do, talk about, because he's in New York and I'm in Nashville. I charge between $150 and $200 per treatment. I see my patients every two weeks. It's totally cash. And again, you do the math. I do this four and a half days a week. Um, it, it's, a, it's a device that is, to me, a no-brainer. Another patient with very stubborn melasma. And as you can see, even the lintigos get better. So overall, when we do kind of a, a laser painting procedure or resurfacing procedure, people have improvement with the lintigos and the discoloration and the sunspots on their skin. Fair, medium, or dark, whatever color your skin may be, one thing is true, acne, no good. Acne, none of us like it. And for some people with darker complexions, the treatment options can be limited. But luckily, there's a new laser option out there, and dermatologist Dr. Glennis Ablon is back in our procedure room to show it off to us. Welcome, Dr. Ablon. So tell us a little bit about the latest and greatest you're going to show us today. We are actually talking about the Aerolase Light Pod Neo right here. Okay, you can see this little device. The idea is this is a long pulse wavelength, so it's 1064, so we're able to use it on darker skin, but what's exciting is it has a very short pulse duration. So we're able to deliver this energy quickly before we cause too much thermal heat in the skin. So it's very safe on dark skin. Our lovely patient here, Stephanie, is gonna have the treatment done today, and we can do this painless. The patients do great, love it, three to five sessions, and uh, the acne looks great. Dr. Ablon, in general, I know how it works, but explain to everybody out there why, how do lasers help acne? So the idea is that lasers, again, you're choosing a wavelength of light. That's a collimated beam of light, and that laser will deliver that energy into the skin. When we're dealing with acne, we're dealing with sebaceous glands, we're dealing with erythema, deep tissue, um, inflammation, things like that. And so what we're trying to do is target that laser energy to heat up to reduce those sebaceous glands, the inflammation, the follicles. And so this laser penetrates deep enough to do that without damaging the skin or the pigment. And about how much does it cost? And you know, I know it, it will vary, but... It varies, yeah, somewhere between usually three to $500 per session. Uh, but patients that especially don't want to do oral medications and patients that have had resistant therapy where their the acne does not get better with oral medications, this is a very nice option. You know, I think this is really a, sort of a breakthrough technology because it's really one of the first times we have a laser that can actually treat treat acne. And I think the way it works is by heating up the sebaceous unit and reducing the amount of output there and also destroying the acne bacteria, P. acnes. So um, we use it all the time as well. We charge a little bit more because we're in Midtown Manhattan, but, but a lot of patients want treatment and they want results right away. So I think for the first time we have a device that there's really no downtime. It's not, it's not painful, as My Michael mentioned. And patients love the results, so and it's very easily done. See how it's such a simple, easy treatment with such so many different diverse modalities of treatment available with it. And so she doesn't have, you know, we talk about the one third, two third. Um, upper lip to lower lip, so her upper lip is a little bit involuted, and this will actually give her a little bit of a lift as well as improving the quality of her skin. One, you have selective photothermolysis of the blood vessels, so if we're blocking the blood vessels, blood vessels, we're blocking the inflammatory response, and what do you get? They're less tender, they have less inflammation. Um, there's a phototoxic and bactericidal effect, so it's going to inhibit the acne, which is the bacteria we know um, that's very important in, in acne. And we can step. 
um, without being concerned about burning. So that's something that we don't do with the long pulsed um, 1064 lasers because these patients are going to be more at risk of having burning. But because this is so well tolerated with the 650 microsecond um, pulse duration, we can actually stack on top of those deep cysts, so by stacking we mean multiple pulses, on top of those deep cysts to really get good penetration and clearance. So this is a woman after her third treatment. And the acne regimen, the acne regimen, we're treating these patients every two to three weeks, okay? So this is just a month or so out, or two months out, and she's already at three months. And this is an excellent result for someone who did not want to do maybe oral therapy. A laser as gentle as this to get good results with melasma, with melasma using this as your, your sole treatment. Um, so with our melasma patients, we often use this in combination with peels and other topicals. Um, but it gives us one more tool in, in fighting the melasma battle, which is very, very tough. And so this is a patient um, who was treated, a patient of Cheryl Burgess, who was treated with um, both the aerolase laser and glycolic peels with, I, I think we would all agree, a quite beautiful result. And this is after just one treatment. Today on an all new The Doctors, it claims to get rid of raccoon eyes instantly. We put it to the test. This is Dr. Jason Emmer and I'm with my patient who has some dark circles and under eye bags that he just doesn't like. I've struggled with this. I've tried creams, I've tried, you know, different concealers and everything and it just doesn't go away. People always think I've got to do a fight, but it's nothing, so I don't know what to do. Well, normally in the past it was all surgery that was the only option, but luckily now we have a lot of non-invasive treatments. The first part is using some fillers to fill some of the hollows there, volume. And lastly, if you lay back, I'm gonna put a little goggle on you. And this also prevents bruising, which is great, is using that microsecond YAG laser, the LightPod Neo. It's sort of the newest technology in tightening the skin and improving the color of the skin. You don't even need any numbing. It has literally no pain. You're gonna feel a little bit of heat. So keep your eyes closed. And we're gonna just literally start to heat that area. And what that will do is stimulate blood supply to remove some of that pigmentation and get rid of some of those blue blood vessels as well as prevent any bruising from all the injections. It'll look great. Take a look at yourself and see what you think. Oh, wow. I do see, I do see a big difference. Yeah, it's great. See the other side. All right.